Okay, so now it's the day after the big dinner. Obviously, I couldn't be filming anything. We weren't allowed to film or take photographs or even get autographs or anything like that. But yeah, it was a pretty amazing experience to be able to have dinner with Mitch Pelleggi, uh, well, Skinner who played Skinner on The X-Files. Now, I've written a few notes down here and everything. Um, just, you know, what happened at the dinner and little bits of bobs and everything just so I can sort of remember it. So sorry if I'm looking down from time to time. But basically, we met at one of the major hotels in Brisbane. There was, like I said, there was uh, nine of us at dinner. Uh, we met at a major hotel at 8 p.m. last night for a two hour dinner with Mitch. Um, it started on time, which was really good. Um, and it did on time too. Like he sort of was sort of pushed out pretty quickly by the staff of Comic Con. But yeah, I guess it was like all quite smooth and everything and that too. He was saying, which is completely understandable, that um, they don't do the dinners at the Comic Cons in America because they have something like 80,000 people. He was saying at some of these conventions. So it's pretty amazing. So the very fact that we can actually have dinner with some of the, um, the stars or celebrities or the writers, directors, you know, the people that come out for Comic Con is a pretty epic thing for Australia. Now, I think this year they did it just in Sydney and Brisbane. Um, I'm not sure if Melbourne had any of the dinners as well. I'd be surprised if they didn't. But anyway, I know it was Sydney and Brisbane. So um, thank you so much, Comic Con, for the... Um, the experience and um, the opportunity to be able to meet, you know, year in, year out with, you know, people that we want to meet with um, and have dinner and, and to be able to chat and everything because it's a really, really great opportunity. We don't get that. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool that in Australia we get the opportunity to have dinner. You do need to snap up the tickets really, really quickly. But, yeah, it's just really great to have that experience. Also... I, I must admit, I haven't been to the Comic Con itself. It's at the Brisbane Convention Centre down at South Bank. I, I haven't been to one ever before. I only really went because I really wanted to go to the dinner with Mitch. But come on, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Possibly. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, but yeah, I haven't been to the Comic Con convention itself yet because I was sort of weighing up the cost and everything and all that to get in and everything. And I thought there wasn't really a lot I was overly interested in other than obviously Mitch Pleggy, who was the only one there obviously from associated with the X-Files. So I sort of weighed it up and I didn't, I decided I didn't want to go to the conference itself. However, if you are watching this and you have been to Comic Con, maybe you can convince me to go next year. Why not? So tell me what it's about. Tell me what happens. Um, I did sort of had a, have a chat to some of the other attendees last night too, and they said it was really awesome and that I really should go. So I might go next year, see how we go. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if you have some reasons why I should go let me know below what did you do what did you see why should I go to Comic Con next year okay yeah so we hey so we met at the hotel everything we had dinner Mitch came pretty much dead on eight o'clock and he went around he did everyone which was really really nice and really friendly and everything and um, I think he sort of was trying to make an effort to remember everyone's names which wouldn't expect it to do in such a short period, like two hours anyway. Um, but it was really nice. He was really um, there, you know, in the moment and everything at the dinner. And it was really, really nice. He said that he really enjoys Australia. It is actually his first time in Brisbane, but he said he's been to Sydney, Melbourne before. Uh, first time in Brisbane. I actually did apologise saying that... Um, we are very conservative in Brisbane. If you decided to take a walk outside at eight o'clock last night, Saturday night, it was dead, everything was closed. I was even quite surprised myself. Queen Street Mall, there was a couple of things open, but Winter Garden was closed. Um, Queen's Plaza was closed. The Starbucks there at Queen's Plaza. It's Saturday night, 8 p.m. and it's closed. Come on, Brisbane get with it um 
so yeah, I said, you know, um, sorry, everything's sort of closed and everything. We're very conservative. We, we are quite different to the southern states and everything. But um, yeah, he said he arrived in Brisbane on Wednesday after the Sydney Comic Con last weekend. And he brought his wife out, Arlene, this year uh, to Comic Con, which was really nice. Um, she, Arlene, actually played his secretary in the latest seasons of The X-Files. So there are a few little scenes there, not a lot, but when you saw his secretary, like you saw Scully and Mulder walking into Skinner's office um, by his secretary, that was his wife in real life. He said that um, he and Arlene had gone to a few places. Um, he really enjoyed Australia Zoo. He went up there. Um, I can't remember if he said it was on Thursday or Friday, but he went up to Australia Zoo, which was really nice, and they really enjoyed that. Um, he told us a little bit about his sort of history, sort of background and everything, which I think a lot of people already kind of know anyway. But, nice, you know, he told us about how he got into acting in the first place. Um, it's about his history growing up. He grew up overseas. Um, his father was posted uh, for the Department of Defence, quite appropriate given that he was Skinner in the X-Files but um, his father was posted in um, the Middle East uh, for the DOD and um, so he grew up and everything he said he lived in Turkey and Iran uh, for a couple of years as well and everything and um, he told us about how what eventually brought him into acting and everything and he actually started out in musical theatre which was really interesting and he actually played Tony in West Side Story, which I can't really imagine, but there you go. He's such a dramatic actor now and everything too. Um, he also spoke about his experiences, like his, his most, obviously most popular, most commonly known as um, assistant director Skinner in the X-Files, but he's also had like big roles in that new show, Sons of Anarchy, and also he's had a a few episodes of Grey's Anatomy as well. So he spoke about some, some of the experiences on set and everything. Uh, of course, you know, everyone was pretty much there for the whole X-Files experience. And I just sort of noted too that everyone at the dinner was female. They were all just female, which he would have loved. Um, you know, like nine females there, so it was pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> we didn't speak completely all about X-Files last night. Um, as I mentioned, you know, he introduced bits and pieces. We spoke about bits and things in Australia and everything too, and issues. And it was just really generally a nice dinner. Uh, in relation to the X-Files and uh, X-Files itself, he, he obviously mentioned some funny stories on set and everything. Um, he said that... Um, Gillian had quite a potty mouth, Gillian Anderson, who played Scully, um, short, probably not much taller than me, um, she has such a potty mouth on set and she's just so serious and and so young in the show and everything and it's just really funny the stories, he often mentioned her quite a bit last night and everything. And he did tell one story of, it must have been in probably around season three, maybe even season four I he didn't actually say which season but probably would have been around season three season four um her daughter Piper Piper Maru which one of the episodes is named after um <clears throat> she was with her mother Jillian on set and everything and they were obviously um in their costumes and garb and everything and they were changing locations in Vancouver um, on the road, you know, they're on the road driving to another location and everything. And so have, you know, babies being babies, they had to stop very suddenly and everything and they didn't have any nappies or obviously diapers, what North, North Americans call them. And uh, so they stopped at a servo uh, on the way to the location and Gillian having to go into the service station completely all scullied up and everything it just it was just such a funny moment he said it was just hilarious um it would have been pretty funny like scullies very serious i need diapers i need them now i also mentioned because i figure hey you know say something you never know 
what could happen. I personally was saddened that um, Robert Patrick wasn't in the final, in the reboot of the show last year, the six um, episodes uh, season 10 that happened last year. I did mention to Mitch that I was a bit upset and, you know, please talk to Chris Carter about bringing him back in the next season, um, if there is one. And he said that um, Chris didn't have a lot of say, like he did, um, but unfortunately Robert Patrick wasn't really interested in returning. So um, Annabeth Gish came back, obviously, as Monica Reyes. Which is really sad because Robert Patrick was absolutely unbelievable in the X-Files. He was in it for such a short time, but he made such an impact. So, what can you do? I mean, I was really sad and to hear that he wasn't interested in coming back, but hey, Robert, or someone who knows him, if you happen to be watching this, you have fans who would love to see John Doggett back in the show, at least a couple of episodes anyway. By the way, um, it seems to be fairly certain there's going to be another season. There's been a lot of talk about a new, like season 10, that te uh, six part series they had, that they're going to do a season 11. Obviously it's going to be dependent on when they can get everybody together, like David has been quite busy, you know, he's, uh, you know, had a bit of a, a burgeoning musical career as well. He's brought out an album and everything. Um, he's also doing the show Aquarius. Um, and Gillian, I mean, you know, Gillian's almost the busiest of all of them, you know, she's been constantly doing movies and now, you know, season three of her um, UK series, The Fall, is just um, coming on air now. So. She's pretty busy as well and everything, but Mitch did say that everyone is really keen on the idea of doing another season, given how well received it's been by the fans and everything. And, you know, he mentioned Australia too, again, you know, how big X-Files is here. And, and I don't think that they realized just how big, even in the very beginning of the show, just how well received X-Files was here. So, it's really, really good to know that um, everyone still loves it and um, yeah, they're still keen to bring it back and everything. Uh, something else he mentioned, I didn't realise, I think I may have read it somewhere but I couldn't remember it, that the round glasses that Skinner is most famous for wearing in the office and everything are actually Mitch's glasses. He did audition for Skinner wearing those glasses and Chris Carter obviously the creator of the show, Chris, um, he really liked the glasses, so he told Mitch to keep them in the show, and he, uh, Mitch said that they got like 10 pairs made or something especially, and, and, and people have offered him money to try and buy those glasses off him, which was quite funny. And last night too, he had not those glasses, another pair of glasses, um, prescription lenses that he's got, that he actually wore in the last reboot of the series so he had them with him last night and he said oh these glasses i actually wore in the six parter so that was really cool it was really nice we mentioned too about the credits that um he finally got given a starring credit in the new series uh and in series nine where like obviously at the beginning of the show the credits with David Duchovny and then Gillian Anderson Mitch Pelleggi's name was finally put onto the credits and it was a lot of discussion and negotiation with his agent and Fox about getting that done and we all agreed that he really deserved it like he'd been a mainstay of that show ever since season two and it was just crazy how long it took for him to get a major credit at the beginning of that show as opposed to the end or or just a typed credit you know after the episode had started so it was really nice to see that and for him to get that recognition at last uh mitch also mentioned that um obviously he had the beard so like um he's kept the beard that he had in the uh reboot and everything he'd obviously grown it since 
the end of the final season in 2003 and everything and they came back on set to meet and everything and get photos taken etc etc and he said that uh, the first day on the first day of set he went um into makeup and everything and the makeup artist on the set said wait are you are you sure about this beard you know has this been approved by chris and and mitch was like guess we'll soon find out so thankfully chris approved of the beard it makes skinner look even more author authoritarian than what he was now he's the actual director of the fbi which is really cool so yeah, it was really nice that he pushed that through. He also mentioned too that, which is really exciting, that there are plans, potential plans in place to actually bring all three of them out. So Mitch, uh, David Duchovny, Angelina Anderson out next year for Comic Con. There's been a lot of talk, he said, about it. Like Gillian hasn't been out to Australia since 1996 with the crazy meeting that she had at Westfield here, 1996, is that like 20 years ago? Gillian, come on, we want you back. Um, so there's a lot of talk about that. And um, he, said, he said that he'd been in Australia for almost two weeks now, obviously with the Comic-Con conventions and everything. And he'd actually been, he and David Duchovny had been texting while he's been in Australia back and forward and everything, because David's been to Australia a few times. so. You know, David's sort of, oh, how's Australia, etc., etc., and they've been chatting and everything about Australia and also the potential for next year to come out and everything. So it sounds good. It sounds like David's, you know, on board with, you know, coming out, hopefully. Um, again, it's like Gillian and her tight schedule and everything, too. So, yeah, again, come on, Gillian. <laughs> we want you back. So yeah, it'd be really exciting if they come back next year, it'd just be such an epic Comic Con if all three of them are there. Yeah, so uh, yeah, last night was such an amazing night. I, I met some amazing people who are just as crazy, maybe even more crazy about X-Files than I am. There were, like I said, nine people, but actually four people out of our group had flown in specifically for the dinner with Mitch Pelleggi. If that's not dedication to the X-Files, I don't know what is. Two of them had either, even flown in across country from Perth. So yeah, X-Files is a thing. So guys, um, yeah, it was really great. It was really great to meet like-minded like people um, who love the X-Files just as well, who still, you know, have been with it since the beginning and everything. And, and Mitch really thanked all of us for our support and everything and for sticking for the show for this long. And even with that great big long gap between the final episode uh, the final episode, and the rebooted series, he's, you know, he really thanked us for our support with that and everything. And um, it was just such a great experience just to, um, you know, show our appreciation for him and sit down and chat about X-Files and everything. And uh, again, with like minor fans and everything, we weren't able to take photos or anything, but we did get an official photograph, which will be uh, emailed to me in the next coming days. So I might put that up too when, when it arrives. It's, yeah, it was a really great night. It was really exciting and still can't believe it happened. So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, if you, went to Comic Con, let me know below about what you did and what you saw and did you actually think it was um, good value. Um, convince me, convince me next year to actually spend a weekend going to Comic Con next year. I'd really, really like to um, hear about your experiences there. So yeah, if you liked this video, give it a good old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am aiming to put out videos every week. Um, I'm doing the best I can, given I do work full time in that too, but I'm really pushing, you know, to get videos done and everything. So, um, yeah, in the meantime, I'll see you next time. Bye.